Hello Medical Technology Community. Today the topic of our discussion is Hepatitis. Hepatitis means the inflammation of liver. The liver is a vital organ that process nutrients, filter the blood and fight infections. When the liver is inflamed or damaged, the function can be affected. Etiology of Hepatitis. Viral Hepatitis, Alcoholic Autoimmune and Non-Alcoholic Hepatitis. First we will discuss about the Viral Hepatitis. Introduction. Five types of hepatitis have been identified. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A is always an acute short-term disease while hepatitis B, C, and D are the most likely to become ongoing the chronic. Hepatitis is usually acute but can be particularly dangerous. Hepatitis A and E viruses typically can cause acute and short-term infections. Other less common viruses can be also liver disease, cytomegalovirus, herpes virus, rubella virus, epstein barr virus. Incidence Viral Hepatitis is a major public health and our hepatitis are A have a highly contagious liver infections caused by the hepatitis A virus. Hepatitis A virus is a ribonucleic acid virus of an enterovirus family. It can cause acute hepatitis while the joint us. Incubation period 3 to 5 weeks with the average 28 days. It is transmitted primarily through the fecal oral route. Source of infection is covered in conditions, poor person hygiene, poor sanitation, contaminated food, water, person subclinical infection, infected food handled. Sign and symptoms including fatigue, fever, abdominal pain, nausea, jaundice, weight loss, itching, sharp pain in right upper quadrant of abdominal and the last sign must be included anorexia. These are the signs and symptoms of this apparatus. D and E Blood test two kind of antibodies to virus IgM antibodies and IgG antibodies. IgM antibodies show acute infections. IgM antibodies show previous infection of immunizations. Normally IgG and IgM are used to evaluate the results. Management. There is no drug therapies for treatment of acute hepatitis. Rest according to patient's level of fatigue, hepat hospitalization, smile, frequent feeding of high calories, low fat. Diet protein are restricted. Vitamin K injection of PT is prolonged. IV fluid and electrolyte replacement. Anti-emetic drugs can be used to manage the condition of this hepatitis. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B virus can be caused acute and chronic infections. Acute hepatitis B infection may last up to six months without or without symptoms. An infection person are able to pass this virus during this time. Chronic hepatitis B defined persistence of HB acid for six months or more. Content Incubation period is two to five months. Hepatitis B virus is a complex structure with three distinct antigens HBCAG, HBSAG, HBEAG. A core antigen surface antigen independent protein circulation. Mode of transmission is mainly sexual contact. Recognized as 3D. Further mode of transmission are perinatal or premucosal exposure of blood or blood product prenatal transmission. Source of infections are contaminated needles, syringes, blood products, homosexual man, tito, or body piercing with a contaminated needle. Occurrence of all ages. Signs and symptoms included abdominal pain, dark urine, fever, joint pain, loss of appetitis. Nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and jaundice must be included in it. D and E. Blood test. AST diagnosis and etiology. Aspartate transamine is alkaline phosphate, ALP, GGT, gamma glutamic, transamine is serum, protein, PT, urinary bilirubin, urinary bilirubin, total bilirubin, serological test, HBSAG at CV. These and included management treatment of acute hepatitis B is indicated only in patients with severe hepatitis and liver failure. Rest vitamin supplement avoid alcohol treatment of chronic hepatitis B nucleic and nucleotide along then hepatitis C hepatitis C virus is a RNA virus incubation period is 14 to 180 days average 56 in most cases it is transmitted through blood or transmitted through unprotected sex and contaminated or unsterile needles found in IV of drug use through renal dialysis patient it can result in both acute and chronic illness chronic HCV infection dissolves cirrhosis there is no vaccine for HCV Hepatitis C antibody HCV genotype. 
diagnosis and etiology management in a patient with acute hepatitis C treatment with pegylated interferon within 12 to 24 weeks of infection reduce the development of chronic hepatitis C chronic hepatitis C pegylated interferon riboferrin and this may be included hepatitis D or delta hepatitis HDV is a defective single stand D RNA virus that cannot survive on its own. It is required hepatitis B to replicate incubation period 2 to 26 weeks. Chronic carries of HBV always a risk of transmission. Source of infection not same as HBV. Diagnosis and etiology anti HDV and HDV antigen treatment interferon are treated to be. Hepatitis E. Hepatitis E virus is an RNA virus and incubation period is 15 to 65 days. HEV has a fecal oral transmission route. Source of infection is contaminated water, poor sanitation for Asia, Africa, and Mexico. More common in adults and severe in pregnant women. Hepatitis E usually dissolves its own within four or six weeks. Treatment focused on supportive cures. Diagnosis and etiology. Anti HEV, IgM, HGM, anti RNAs. Treatment. There is no specific treatment capable of altering the course of acute hepatitis E. A disease is usually self-limiting. Hospitalization is generally not required. Hospitalization is required for people with the fulminant hepatitis. Pathophysiology. During an acute hepatitis, liver damage is mediated by cytotoxic cytokines and natural killer cells. CK and uh, cytokines cause the lysis of infections. Hepatocytes, it leads to cholestosis, cholecystosis. Liver cells can be regenerated after acute infections. A chronic viral infection causes chronic inflammation and causes fibrosis over decades. Fibrosis can lead to cirrhosis. Clinical manifestations, including clinical viral hepatitis, are classified into acute and chronic phases. Manifestation of acute hepatitis. As a follows, symptoms are similar to the mild flu, acute hepatitis, anorexia, nausea, these are chronic hepatitis, malaise, easy fatigability, hepatomegaly, myelagias, elevated liver enzymes, complications, dehydration, hypokalemia, chronic carrier hepatitis, cholesterol. Cystic hepatitis, fulminant hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, hepatocellular carcinoma, HBV, HCV, and HCEV. Prevention measures: hepatitis A. General measures: hand washing, proper personal hygiene, environmental sanitation, control and screening of food handles, active immunizations, use of immune globulin, early administration one to two weeks after exposure, poor follicles for travel or areas. Where hepatitis A is common if no vaccine with the HAV vaccine. For health care personnel, use infection control precautions, wash hand after contact with the patient, removal of gloves. Hepatitis B and C, general measures, hand washing, avoid shrinking, toothbrush and razors, active immunization, HBV vaccine, HBIG in administration for one of time exposure, such as no needle sticks, contact of mucus material to the patient or someone that have been affected in it. Sexual transmission, acute exposures, HBIG administration to sexual partner or HBSAG positive person, condoms use of sexual intercourse, HBV vaccine series administered to the infected sexual partner, precarious trade transmission, screening of donating blood for HBSAG and HCV, use of disposable needle and syringes for healthcare personnel, Reduce contact with blood or blood containing secretion. Dispose the needle properly. Use infection control precautions included. Nursing management. Nursing assessment. Assess for sem- systemic and liver related symptoms. Obtain history such as IV drug use, sexual activity, travel, and ingestions of possible contaminated food or water to assess any mode of transmission of virus. Assess size and texture of liver, detect enlargement and characteristics of psoriasis, nursing diagnosis, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements related to the effect of liver, deficiency, risk of injury, efficiency in nursing intervals. Encourage small frequent feeding or high calories, low fat diet, avoid large quantities of protein during acute phase of illness, encourage taking of plain meals environmental, encourage eating meals of sitting positions. 
maintaining adequate fluid intake, provide frequent oral fluid as tolerance, administer IV fluid of patient within the ability to maintain flow of fluid monitors, maintain adequate rest, promote periods of rest during symptom produce, promote comfort administration, ensure prevention of disease transmissions. Stress importance of proper public and home sanitation and proper preparation of food. Explain precautions to patient and family about preventing and controlling bleeding. Monitor and tag patients to monitor and report sign and bleeding. Must repeat these patients. Monitor sign and encephalopathy. Monitor of sense, condensation or stopper or coma. Maintain calm, quiet environment and reorient patients as a needle needed. Patients education identify persons or group at a high risk such as IV drug abuser or their sexual contact and those who covered container. Encourage vaccine for HBV with series of three shorts, birth and six months and high risk patients such as healthcare worker. Explain HBV carrier. Autoimmune the hepatitis last term. It is a chronic inflammation of liver or unknown causes. It is characterized by a person of autoantibodies, serum IgD. Majority of patients are women. There is autoimmune reactions against normal hepatocytes. In diagnosis, serological markers are usually such as antinuclear bodies, anti-double standards. PAD with without azithioprine or recommended treatment for active immuno. Apparatus. Patients who do not respond to PAD, SONS, and azeotron, cyclosporine, butazenoids, and methanol are recommended. Alcoholic hepatitis. Alcoholic hepatitis is a disease inflammatory condition of liver caused by heavy alcohol consumption over extended period of time. Diagnosis are CBC, liver function test, ultrasound, CT scan, blood clotting test, liver biopsy. Patient needed to stop the alcohol. Note alcoholic ceto hepatitis. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis is a part of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. is a condition where fat build up liver not due to alcohol consumption. The inflammation of liver damage along with the fat in the liver. Serious condition that result to cirrhosis, hepatocellular cancer, liver failure. Risk factor of our obesity, DMS, and hyper. Epidemia in clinical finding elevated liver enzyme, the liver biopsy, liver scan, CT scan, ultrasound. There is no definitive treatment. Therapy in directed reduction of this factor. Treatment of diabetes, weight reductions, and management of hyperlipidemia are must be included in it. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.